Ready. All right. All right. So we're starting here in the bathroom, and these two outlets here are not GFCR protected, as they're supposed to be. Uh, it's an easy fix, just an outlet swap, and you just need the ones that trip, just because in the event it gets Are we sure that it's not on the same circuit as uh, another GFI? Yes, because okay. if, even okay. in that because situation, they would trip here, power would cut. Okay. So these two, along with the one in the other bathroom, which we'll head to next. All right. Secondly, this toilet here, a little loose, which you want to seal that up just because this can lead to some kind of loose connection behind the wall or All something right. along those lines. There's nothing going on there right now. I'm not getting any high moisture meter reading or thermal discrepancies. But All right. Other than that, for here, called some minor stuff in the shower. Just some little caulking and sealant areas. You just want to patch up everywhere you can. Just okay. You need some moisture and shoes. Little stuff there. All right. I got a little nitpicky because it was a pretty clean pit. Yeah, it's so. pretty clean place. <laughs> uh, All right. Here in the bedroom, not too much. Uh, kind of a common theme with a lot of these windows is the locks are, they're old windows. The locks are a little All right. damaged. It's not too much of a concern. You're not really worried about anybody breaking in here or anything. Right. That would probably be on the agenda if you'd. Okay. That fixed. All right. That was about it in here. Tested all the outlets, light switches, ceiling fan. Uh, yeah, everything's working. All right. Me this way. So with the electric panel, it's, I don't need to take that down again. But only things here were. There's just some interior corrosion. I've got pictures of it and everything, so you can see on the report later. But it's just a sign that some moisture is in the air, something along those lines, because there's some rusting and stuff inside. And okay, like the humidity yep. and the salt something air. Something like that. Okay. And it's not necessarily this big, crazy concern, but it's something you'll want to get evaluated, and if you can, prevent it from continuing to happen. So, All right. Anything in here? Here? Anything in here? Yes. Um, same situation. Outlet, not GFCI protected. Okay. The sink here, for whatever reason, wasn't heating up the water all the way. We the range we look for for hot water is between 100 and 120 degrees, just for the means of safe hot water. Okay. I was getting like 95 here. Um, this was also like the last picture I tested, so maybe I ran most of the hot water out. Even though I wasn't running everything on hot yeah. all the time. Okay. But yeah, but you were running the water for a while. Yeah, that was that was all in blowing cold. Okay. And then once we actually get to it to test the hot water, we flip it just for okay. a minute. But might be something like that. Um, your water heater is 2011, so it's nine years old. They've got about 10 to 15 year lifespan. They, they vary for sure. You see different stuff all the time. Looks to be in pretty good condition. I don't see any rust or anything on the outside of it. Uh, this here was the only question that it would it would pause. Okay. There. Yeah, and it was November 2011. All right. So yeah. Uh, again, here this toilet wasn't as bad, but it's just a little loose again. Like something you just want to okay. seal up just for the same reasons. And then this was this door here. It's you know, fucking ceilings is okay. Even out a little bit. So again, nice and easy fix. Just seal it up it. there. Okay. Yeah, that's looks like that was all that was holding it in place. Yeah. Here. Just cock the edge. Mm -hmm. All right. That clear stuff again. It should be good. Uh, more little stuff just along the tops here. Coffin sealant. Because right. anywhere water okay. moisture can get in, it okay. will. It's not a major concern, but something you leave alone and then you've got. Right. Okay. Eventually, the water get behind the walls. Okay. Um, okay. Plumbing. Plumbing was all clean. Didn't see any leaks or anything. Uh, just the sink here not heating up and the two toilets that are a little, little loose. All right. Hallway here, 
We talked about the water heater. The AC system is also 2011, so it's nine years old. Mm -hmm. They have just about the same lifespan. They're 12 to 15 rather than 10 to 15, but it's right. essentially the same thing. Um, the condenser up on the roof did have some rust on it. I was shining my light inside of it, and you can just see some deterioration, which is pretty normal. I mean, it's out in the elements all day, every day, all year for the last nine years. Um, but they were testing outside of range. The range we look for is between 12 and 20 degrees, just for the means of efficiency, making sure everything's working as it should be together. I was getting like a 25 degree split. So okay. cooling a little too much. Um, it might just need a servicing and then could be all good. Uh, but that'll be, you'll want to have a HVAC technician come out and take a look at it, evaluate it. Okay. Make sure you're looking all right. Um, beyond that, washing machine, tested it, ran through a cycle, dryer, didn't test it, it's full of clothes. When we do that, you know, some people are iffy about their clothes, so okay. we like to leave that alone. A room here, ceiling fan, I, I don't know if it's me or... So it's, we not. probably need the remote. Another remote, <laughs> yep, I couldn't find it probably works but okay i remember this being on uh when we were looking at it earlier uh, the other day yeah i've just got it on there's missing remote so okay uh other than that no this bedroom is clean too uh window i think my <coughs> no just talking to and stuff around the windows again there's a lot of that they're old windows it's just deterioration that happens over time. All right. Living room. Clean this right window we saw was a little bit, a little bit out of square. It didn't open and close as it should. Okay. But it just really needs to be realigned and you should have no problems. All right. This right hand window. Right side, yep. Okay. And then getting to the kitchen here. There was a couple things. This lock here is just kind of completely broken, so this window doesn't lock, but. All right. So, use that which you will. <laughs> I tested all your appliances, everything, everything runs, oven heats up, burners work, dishwasher ran through a cycle. Fridge is in range of where we want it to be for keeping stuff good. Right. Yes. Uh, water and ice dispenser works. Water at the sink's heating up the way you want. Uh, I think the only other thing in here was just again little coffee and sealant stuff around the edges here on the countertop. But that was all. All right. A really clean place. All right. Thank you very much. And um, you'll just email the report. Yep. I'll have reports over this evening. All right. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it. Of course.